All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of a new dawn. So, guys, uh, I apologize for the lack of videos over the last couple of days. Uh, I have been getting ready, packing up, uh, and getting ready to move home. Um, I'm moving home. Well, actually, today, a few uh, a few hours after I finish recording this, and hopefully get it uploaded in time. I'm gonna pack everything up and uh, finish and get going. Um, but anyways, before <laughs> before we really get into this episode, I'd like to thank you guys. We just hit, I just checked, 12,000 subscribers, 12,002 to be exact. Uh, so thank you guys so much for that. That is, um, I believe, that is within one month, we not only hit 11K, but then we hit 12K. That's, that's, an, that's insanity to me. This channel, I'm not used to having stuff like that happen. Um, so thanks for all your support, guys. Uh, I think... I think a lot of it is, holy shit, look at that cluster of, uh, oh my god. Ugh, that does not, not look like it would be fun to fight at all. Um, I think I think a lot of it is due to um, the new series that we're doing, uh, both this and Tainted Paths, and, and I think I'm going to really do that uh, in the future, is, uh, you know, ask you guys what you want to see beforehand, because I, I think instead of me guessing, you you guys know what you want better, better than I do. Um, so... In the future, we're going to keep on doing that. I already know the next series that we're going to do. And I wanted to start it this weekend, but I, I don't think we're going to be able to now. Um, just because I haven't been able to uh, record enough episodes in advance. But next weekend, instead, we're going to be starting... Um, oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, no. This is not what... I, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not what... Where did, I, where did we store our champion armor at? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Well, this is better than this anyways. Yeah, well, we'll take all this out. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, what was I saying? Next weekend, we are going to be starting our new series on Star Wars Conquest. That that's It's been something you guys have been asking for for so, so, so very long. Um, but we're finally going to do it. We're going to make it happen, guys. Um, I'm not sure what I want to play as yet. Um, I might I might need you guys to uh, give me some uh, advice in the comments. Let me let me know what are the more fun playthrough styles to uh, make of that mod because, like I said, I've never played it before. I have no idea what it. Well, I know what it involves. Okay, it's Star Wars. I mean, you're gonna have, you're gonna have Jedi and and droids and all that stuff. But I, I don't know. I don't know how the mod itself really functions. So let's see here. I am looking for a ransom broker. You look like. Oh no, a minstrel. Hmm. Where are the ransom brokers at? Jelkala. Okay. We'll head over there. Because I think maybe Jelkala is where we stored our armor after all. Hmm. Champion Mindogus of the Barbarians was defeated in battle. <laughs> oh, Mindogus. Oh, baby, look at that money. Look at that money. So guys, last episode, we officially reached the tier of champion. And so this episode, our goal is to put that to good use, first of, first of all. Uh, oh, you have books. Hmm. I guess we could use a book or two. Plus one, the leadership. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, that, that's enough for right now. Who are you? Where's the ransom broker at, man? Why are there so many damn people in here? Chenrik von Hoslin. Yep, this guy sounds like a ransom broker. Okay, so I'm all... That honestly was not even really worth the trip, but we had to go here anyways. Maybe we didn't. Where did we put the champion armor? Guys, do I have to... Do I seriously need to, like, recheck the video? Also, do we not have a... Oh, what the hell? You want me to... Okay, so. He wants us to take out a bandit hero called Kenneth the Fierce for 5,000 dinars? Yeah, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's interesting that they uh, actually come out to ask us to do that without uh, without us asking. All right, so let's see. Die works, 1,600. That's pretty shitty. 850, 1340, the ironworks was 1788 for only 3500, that's a pretty good return on investment. Oh, there you go, 2000, 2146, whoops, 
780, tannery, 1100. Okay, oil press it is. Boom, there you go. So, before we join another army, well, we need to find the champion armor. Where the fuck did I put that? Did I, did I store it in Yalen? I might have stored it in Yalen. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, but before we do that, I want to build up our money. I want to build up our wealth. Uh, because after we finish with the next army, after we finish with uh, the Swadians and getting all the Twilight Knight stuff, there's really... There's really not much time between that and us actually starting our own kingdom because we're not becoming a vassal this time, okay? We're not, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, we've been a vassal before. We know what it's like. We're not interested. <laughs> we're not interested. Let's uh, start putting all this stuff back. I might, you know what? Hold up. I'm going to be right back. Let me check and see where we actually put that champion armor at. Okay, lads. Well, <laughs> got a, had a little scare there. So I checked the video back, and it was Jalcala that we had stored our armor in. For some reason, our wine, or was it wine press, or oil press, something like that, whatever this is, um, it randomly disappeared. Um, I, I don't know why it did that. It scared the hell out of me. Um, but luckily, when we made a new one, because we built a new oil press, it's the exact same type of thing, um, I had to wait a week for us to get access to everything, for everything to get set up, but then we were still able to take our armor out. But for some reason, our oil press, like, disappeared. Um, I don't remember taking it down. It wasn't in the video footage. So, that's very strange. I don't think I've ever had or seen that happen before. Um, hopefully, it doesn't happen again. <laughs> that's, uh, oh man, that's uh, yeah, a little scary. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and sell off most of this armor. We're carrying around a bunch of shit right now. A lot of which we don't really need. And we could also really use some more inventory management. The more I'm looking at it, man, we do not have a lot of space. Luckily for us, we have enough skill points. So, uh, yeah. well, I didn't want to have to put more points into intelligence. I, did, I guess we did just get a book that will give us more intelligence points anyways. Um, all right, we'll just hold off on investing this point into leadership for now. Let's get another inventory management. Oh my god, look at all these weapon points that we have. <laughs> they go away so quick, though, once we start investing them. Even with a, even with a uh, weapon master of nine, man. Still not enough. All right, that's fine. Okay, so what are we doing today? Um, so, there's a couple different options. We could go straight for the Swadians and join their army, but we've done that the last couple episodes. I want us to try out this armor a little bit more. I feel like that'd be a much better use of our time. So, what we are going to do is fuck our shield, fuck that. Actually, we'll keep that. I want to actually try out some of these crossbows and see how useful it is. So first, oh, they can't be used on horseback forgot about that. That's annoying. Let's find some scrubs to try this crossbow out on. Um, I'm thinking, ideally, just a giant horde of bandits. Really weak, like, forced bandits would be the best to try this out on. Here we go. Let's wait around the forest bandit camp, see if we can't find some. Alright, there we go. Merry men, 60 of them. That should be enough. Alright, well, not trying to face 160 of them, I don't think. Manhunters. 432 manhunters. That's a little OP. At what point did they become an actual fucking army? Okay, here we go. Well, ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, so let's let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Where's the horde at? There's the horde. Okay, let's get down. Oh no! What? We don't have riding skill. Oh, because we are wearing armor now. Oh man, we might actually be in trouble. Alright, so we can fire a shot. 108 damage. That's not bad. How? What the hell, man? Are my shots too short? What's going on here? Oh, my shots are too short. Okay. Damn, look how many... Look how many bolts are in a clip, man. Holy shit. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Can we rapid fire this? Not, not really. Not yet. But eventually, maybe. They can keep on firing at me, man. I don't feel pain. Not in this suit of armor. Holy shit, guys. This is 
insanity. Oh, they finally hit me. That hurt a tiny bit. Ooh, okay. Okay, now they're kind of actually spamming us. That's a little annoying. They're not really doing much damage, but it is annoying. My poor war horse is just getting decimated. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. I love this shit. Uh, get out of here. We actually do want them kind of running up on us, because I don't think they can really do much of us hand-to-hand -hand combat, and they actually provide meat shields for us. There we go. Oh, this, guys, this is the Mason Harrow that we remembered. The one-man army. The slaughterer. <laughs> yes, baby. This is what I'm talking about. The Blood Lord himself. Now you have an actual Nordic Blood Lord. With champion training and champion armor. <laughs> with a, with an unstoppable crossbow. Seriously, man. How many people did we kill with that crossbow? Like 30, 40 of them before they even got close to us? I don't know. Maybe not that many. We've got so many hit points, too. This is awesome. These little peasants don't stand a chance. The crazy thing, though, is, is that there are still units that can beat the shit out of us. With a few lucky, few lucky hits, a couch lands here and there. Supposedly, supposedly, I've heard tale, I've heard tell of uh, a certain faction by uh, Beanie Walrus called the Kolkar, Kolkar clan, I want to say. I don't think it's Kolkar, I think it's Kolkar. Um, that have the finest archers in the land that do as much damage as, like, snipers, like the best Rodok crossbowmen, but because they're archers can rapid fire, and from, I don't think from horseback, I think they are on foot. But uh, regardless, I'm interested, and I just saw a pop-up, just saw an event that their leader just entered Calradia, so we're going to have to see if we can acquire some of those men. I need to uh, find out if details are true, because if we have ranged units even more powerful than Rodox snipers, come on, come on, who's going to stop us? Jesus. Not these guys, that's for certain. The great part is if you miss, you just keep on firing. How many how many shots are in a clip, man? How many shots do we have to go before reloading? Do we just never have to reload? The amount of damage this is doing is insane. Just imagine when our, our crossbow proficiency actually gets decent. Also, can we crouch in this mod? I forget, Z. Doesn't look like it. I thought we had to reload there for a sec, but nope, just kidding. All right, buddy, get out of my way. Stop being a little bastard. So guys, I also, <laughs> one of the other reasons I haven't been able to upload as much recently is I was determined to get through all of Game of Thrones uh, because I was on like, oh, we finally have to reload. Okay, that's fine. Let me just go ahead and wipe these guys out real quick. We are getting a little low on health. It might be time to retreat. So let me go ahead and murder these fools real quick. Let's get out of here. 113 of them wiped out. Just obliterated. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. All right. We might as well finish the rest of them off, right? How do we have a full health again? Yo, this is a really weird glitch in this mod. I don't know why that's happening. I'm not complaining, necessarily. Um, hmm. I think it, I think we don't actually have that many hit points. I think that's just due to the, yeah, that's not, that's just due to the overhaul they did with Iron Flesh, where instead of giving plus two per level, it gives you plus five. Um, so I think it, that's just due to that, so. Um, we did level up again, though. I think we're just going to keep on putting points into Charisma. Um, we, we want that better leadership. Let's get one more into inventory management for the time being, though. Alright. But anyways, yeah. Finally finally got all the way through Game of Thrones. It was fucking outstanding. I watched two and a half seasons in like four days, maybe. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun glorious. Um now, <laughs> now I'm now I'm gonna be waiting for uh, season what what season eight, like everyone else, the final season. But yeah, no, it was, it was it was really good. How much did our crossbow go up during all that? Like ten points or so? Not actually too shabby. And those were against really shitty units. How do we... Oh, the Warhorse just ran us over. I was like, did one of their archers just somehow knock me back? Hi, buddy. Fuck. Off. Oh, 
Oh, look at the look at the flank coming in. Yeah, sorry, mate. That's not gonna work. I mean, it doesn't matter if you flank or not. If you if you can't really do damage to me, sit down, sit down, sit down. I want a headshot. Come on, let me hit a let me headshot. Damn it. This is not too accurate, unfortunately. Not sure why that is. Probably just because it might be because of the armor we're wearing. No, it's not. It's not power draw related, so it shouldn't be that. I'm going to check the accuracy of this. The accuracy of the of this crossbow in general might just not be perfect, so it might be impossible to actually get you know pinpoint. If we did get pinpoint, man, oh lord, oh baby, it's over. <laughs> it's already over if that happens. Sit down, get off, go away, <laughs> all of you. Man, we have actually gotten pin cushion in this battle. Are they running? Are they done? They had enough? Feels good to go back into two-handed, because that's what that's what Mason's wheelhouse really was. We we've been using we've been using the uh, what's it called? We've been using the mace just because blunt damage does so much in this mod. That it actually pierces through armor, and in a mod like this, you really do need something that pierces armor. Man, let's jump down a little bit. Kill a few more of these guys. There's only 50 left, but they did a lot of damage to us real quick. For some reason this time. Oh, that's because we have way less hit points than we did in the previous one. That's why. Still. Still, I'm not a fan. I can't tell. Are they running away? It looks like on the minimap that they are. Eesh, yeah. Accuracy is a bit lacking on this thing. It is a bit lacking. Come on. Come on. Alright, get out of here. There we go. Alright, these, these people are pissing me off. Oh, now you're all running. I start running at you, and you guys all turn tail. Alright, I see how it is. Get out of here. Except for that guy. He was the one brave one out of the bunch. That poor trapper. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it seems that the tales have come true. Mason Harrow is alive and has returned to Calradia. And oh boy. Oh boy, are the lords fucked. Let's go. Alright, we're not taking any. We're not rescuing prisoners. That was not my intent here. We do have some nice little... That's a lot of fucking lumber. I mean, I guess they are forest bandits. Uh, we don't need all of that lumber, though. What's this, uh... So the accuracy is 100 on this. Hmm. So why... Why are we not pinpoint when we're shooting? Why is that a thing? I don't really know how crossbows work, to be honest. Stuff that I've never really used them in series before. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if that's normal or what. We're at 38% hit points. Wow. Okay. Get a few more points in the crossbow there. 320. Yeah, we might, I don't know. It might just because it has such a high strength requirement. Not really sure. But all right. Now that we've displayed that, now that you guys have, have seen, uh, the true terror that is, oh, oh, why? That's, that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, Royal Morningstar, 48 piercing damage. Hmm. Hmm. That looks quite nice. Unfortunately, it is a little short. Only 96 weapon reach. It's not terribly short. Just a little bit short. Speed's decent on it. 48 piercing damage, huh? So not only does it go through armor as well as blood damage does, but it kills people. And we all know that's what we're after in the long run. Huh. Oh. Uh, is that the best? Is that the best in the game? Or is there a higher tier? Let's check it out. So that is a Swadian, right? Pretty sure that's a Swadian thing. Who has that? Oh, see, now I'm confused. Whose weapon is that normally? This is Wyhinder. Jesus. <laughs> Those are some big swords. Who is that? Who uses that thing? It's not one of those. It's not one of these guys, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, the Royal Knights use that. Interesting. Well, if they're using it, then it must be pretty decent, at least on horseback. Huh. Huh. We might have to pick that up. It's a pretty good weapon. 48 piercing damage on a two-handed. However, 
what I'm still interested in getting back is our Blood Drinker's Axe. This is what I want back. 91 cutting damage. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And it can crush through blocks. And it has bonus against shields. And then we, of course, have the Wicked Scythe, but I don't know if we're going to be getting that back. Yeah, it does a little more damage, but we can't use it on horseback. So I think we're better off getting our Blood Drinker's Axe back. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so much to get, so much, so little time. Alright, I think it's time that we uh, we joined up with... Ooh, ooh, wow. Uh, Swanee's not doing too hot. Swanee's not doing too hot. Do we actually need to join the Swatting Army? Maybe we don't need to join the Swatting Army. Maybe. Because we just need one of their horses. That's really all we need. So maybe if we check out the various ex swatting towns, we'll be able to find one if we get lucky. What is that? Spirited Dawn Charger. 83 armor. 39 speed, 81. Sh Jesus Christ, man, that is a pretty fucking beastly horse, to be honest. <laughs> Who uses the Dawn Chargers? The Order of the Sun? Is that horse better than the Swatting ones? In the Twilight Charger? Mm, not quite. Pretty goddamn close, though. It's about as good as one. It's probably a lot more expensive at a quarter million. Who uses that? These guys? Yeah, these guys use it. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, let me show you guys the coal car. Coal? Oh yeah, it is coal car claim. So these Celestial Masters are what we're going to be looking for. 68 piercing damage on their bow with fire arrows that give you another plus 10. Pretty fucking decent armor. They are on foot. They are on foot. But their archery is 750, man. Also, they're... Oh, God, their two-handed weapon, Deathbringer, is no joke either. Um, these guys are nasty. Nasty strong. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some of those. I would not mind getting some of those. Okay, well, this is a tough call. This is actually a tough call. Because on one hand, we don't really need to join the army. We're making so much money now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this away for right now. I don't think it's practical to get off our horse uh, just to use a ranged weapon in most cases, but we're definitely going to be using that in sieges. On one hand, we're making so much money now. We don't need the Twilight Charger. Not yet. We can get it at some point. Champion Charger, Heavy Charger. This horse is pretty fast, but this is going to be a lot tankier. I might get this just for the time being. Because that's what we really need. We, just, we need to start getting some uh, some tanky horses so that we can really... Uh... Ooh, hello. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot what we had. All those extra points in inventory management. That's going to come in handy. We have way more horses than necessary, but that's okay. You know what? Guys, I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to join the army. We've joined an army. We did well. We got the armor that we needed. We can always buy the extra horse, because that's all we're really getting from the Twilight Knight anyway, is the horse, because we already have the lance. Not really interested in the one-handed sword. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go around. We're going to kill some people. Okay. Just That just comes with the game. All right. That just comes with <laughs> who we are right now. Oh, belligerent, drunk ass. Oh, buddy. Buddy, you just fucked up. Where is he at? This guy? I don't know, this guy. We're going to beat him to death. <laughs> this guy's trying to get into the middle, but he's like, hold me back. No, guys, don't do it. Don't do it to him. Oh, Jesus, we are actually going to punch this man into oblivion. Get out of here. We're bitch slapping him to death. Not even bitch slapping. Those are straight up pimp hand. Backhands, that's what I'm talking about. You ever see that Key and Peel sketch? Front hand, backhand? That's what we're doing to this man. Front hand! Down he goes. Alright. Better him than me. Probably should have actually killed him instead of knocking him unconscious or whatever. No big deal. Anyways, let's actually recruit some troops. Lordless men at arms. Eh. Eh. 
look like scrubs to me. We want some good units. We want some juggernauts. We want some twilight knights. We want those type of units. What we really want are the knights of Ed. So I'll tell you what, let's go around to a couple taverns. We'll see what we can find. Roll if I'm not, I'm not interested in anybody. Yeah, none of these are nearly as good as what we have. Ooh, we can also head north and actually find our axe. That's another good thing we could be doing. All right, so let's head up there. See what we got going on. And then potentially, potentially, we start making our army. Do we revolt? Do we start taking, do we start our kingdom up? Not yet, not yet. We're not, right. We're not jumping the gun, all right? We, we did that, we did that last series. We're not making that mistake again. God damn, it's hard to find axes. All right, tell you what, I'm going to get back in a sec. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can either get some, some cool troops or get some cool armor or get some cool weapons. Any or all of the above. All right, guys, so I've, I've been able to form the beginnings, the beginnings of an army. Uh, what we've got right now are basically just people I found in local taverns, the best of the best. Well, not the best of the best, but some pretty good units. 18 sword sisters, 250 dinars each week. These these ladies are not cheap. Um, they are very, very tough. Uh, and similarly, we got a whole bunch of Warchegian guards that are pretty decent as well. And so what we're going to try to do right now is take out these groups of Bally enslavers that just have buttloads of prisoners and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we will find some good units inside them. I see two knight errants. And so in, in terms of our story, <laughs> Hasten Marrow, Mason Harrow, he is, uh, he is doing this to rescue his old friends, the Knights of Ed, that served him so valiantly, so loyally during his reign. All right, come on, lads, let's charge in. This is not going to be super easy. Valiant slavers all have blood damage. Um, so at least the good news is they can't kill us. <laughs> they can't kill us, uh, but they can knock us out and, you know, sell us into slavery. But, you know, hey, hey, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, let's get to work. So, they had 140 prisoners and roughly the same amount of people able to fight. Uh, we should be able to get some good units out of this. I'd be shocked if there was just complete marshmallows all the way across. Even if we just get the two knight errants, I mean, it probably wouldn't be worth it, judging from how many troops we might lose. But uh, it wouldn't be horrible. It wouldn't be a horrible trade. And uh, I definitely want some of the Knights of Ed back. It's been too long. It's been too long. Also, we get to check out this horse now. I just saw it charge for like 80 damage. Um, that's a good sign. I like it. I like it when my horse does as much damage as we do on average hits. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of nice. All right, one Sword Sister going down. The nice thing about the Sword Sisters is that they're not even that expensive, man. They're like 600 apiece, which we're making like 25 grand a week now. So we can afford a lot of them. Um... I also went, went ahead and bought like one or two more places. The The hard thing is that there's like a cooldown timer on being able to buy um, like the townspeople uh, jars of wine. So, you know, what you can do at the tavern, spend a thousand, you get plus one relationship with the town. There's like a, there's like a cooldown timer um, and not like just per town. It's a cooldown timer like in total. So like once you've done it one town, you have to wait like a, a couple of days before you can do it in any town. Uh, again, so that's kind of annoying. Not too big of a deal in the long run. We'll get all the die works. We'll get all of our production enterprises up. We'll be making lots of money. Don't you worry about that. Um, get out of here. Fucking scrubs. <laughs> I really want my axe though. I was not able to find it. The problem is, is that so the axe only is in Nordic towns. I think there's only two. I think only Tyr and Sargoth start out as Nordic towns in this mod because they they included the Principality of Lochte. Um, I don't know, Kingdom of Norregger? Who is it? Who owns the Nor- I think it's the Kingdom of Norregger, actually. But anyways, those guys, regardless, don't, um, don't have the axes anywhere. So that's a little lame, but, uh, we'll, we'll get it, alright? We'll get the Twilight Charger. We'll get the axe. We'll get everything, alright? Mason is not worried about that. Right now, Mason is pretty happy. He's got his armor, he's looking god damn unstoppable. Um, he's making more money than we probably ever did even last season, to be honest. Uh, and it feels good. It feels good knowing that he is well on his way to revenge against all the nobles that put him away in the first place. 
There we go. It's a pretty good battle. That was 27 of us against 140 of them. And we cleaned them up. <laughs> we cleaned them up. Nice. And we only lost four units to Grom Pat. God damn. That's what I like to see. Seriously, there's one guy left. Alright. He's getting the Lance. He's getting the Lance. Where's this fucker at? But yeah, I think I saw like two other groups of uh, Valley Enslavers. And if they're all going to be this easy to kill, shit. Uh, we might take them all out. Because all of them had, you know, close to 100 prisoners, if not more. Oh, there we go. There goes half your health in a single hit. Not even that great of a hit either. This Twilight Lance is just OP as shit. Boom. Wrecked. All right. GG, boys. No re. Yeah, these Sword Sisters, I don't. I feel like we never really used them in the last series. But they're good. They're using like the same horse that we are. They're really fucking good. Alright, let's see what we got here. So two Knight Errants, yes. Welcome aboard, Ed and Ed. They have returned. Uh, Valkyries are good. Fanes are good. There's only one of them, unfortunately. Berserkers turn into Crazed Berserkers, so we'll take them. Basically, I'm looking for whoever's worth a bunch of cash here. <laughs> and that's what we're judging their worth off of. Uh, great swords are decent. Darren Pikeman. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how I feel about them. Uh, grown infantry. We're actually going to take them because one of you guys really at, like wanted me to uh, get some Gorillan units. So there you go. I don't know how else there I would, we'd really be able to get them. Besides uh, finding them in prisoner parties. Alright, now that might be about it. Maybe we'll take the Deer and Pikeman after all. 81 a piece. They can't be too shitty. This is this will be their trial. Because I see them I see them running Oh Warrior Sons, fuck yeah. I see them running around a lot at uh, at taverns that have never picked them up before. But if they're actually decent, don't keep that in mind. We'll keep them in the future. Lordless Men at Arms, they're they're decent too. Mercenary Lancers, yeah, we'll pick them up. Oh, Condotiero, hello, hello, why, you're the strongest guy we've got so far, well, you know, obviously the sides are juggernauts, <laughs> we can't, can't include them in the conversation, that's just OP, they're too strong, alright lads, well, I think we're going to go ahead and end it off there, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed another very good episode for us, we're making so much money now, we've got the start of the Honestly, a pretty fucking decent army. Um, this army is no joke already. 66, I'd say high tier. Not elite, not champion type units, uh, but definitely powerful units. Yeah, this is looking really good. So anyways, guys, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. Um, I hope to be able to upload some more videos for you guys this weekend. Um, this is Thursday that I'm recording this. Obviously, I've got to head home right after I'm done with this. Um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll have to see what, what we're looking at. Uh, hopefully I can move in quickly, uh, get, get my computer set up and whatnot and record some more episodes for you guys. Because now that it's summer, I want to get back on an uploading streak. Last summer, our streak was like for two months or something like that. I think we can beat that this summer. So anyways, as always, take it easy, guys.